So did you always know that you wanted to act? Because obviously it's in your family, your mother's on stage, we all know your dad, but did you always want to do it? No, no. <laughs> yeah. No. I think probably it's just a natural resentment for kids because your father, especially in those days, there wasn't much television. My father's doing five movies a year. You never saw them. Yeah. My mother's an actress. Yeah. So I think just the fact that they were sort of taken away from you may have been the reason. Yeah. But I went you know, all the way into college, you know, kind of undeclared. I grew up back east, but then ended up going to college in California, University of California, Santa Barbara in the 1960s. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful there. It's beautiful there. Yeah. And I was introduced to hippiedom. Yeah. And, uh, and off we go. Yeah. You know, and off we That's went. why you were undeclared. That was why I was undeclared. <laughs> so it happened. So my, thir my third year, they finally called me into the office and said, you got to declare a major. I said, what? I said, you, gotta, you can't keep taking, you know, non, of course you got to get a major. I said, yeah. oh, I don't know, man, oh, I don't know. So, so that's why I said, well, I'll take theater, because I thought I knew a little bit about it. You know, my mom was in the theater back east. Yeah. I was an actor, and that's how I started. And, and uh, then had, was, was terrible. I was not good, and I had, uh, <laughs> I had a terrible, uh, uh, you know, I had a wastebasket before I'd go on stage where I'd get sick in. Oh, like I stage had, fright. I had terrible stage fright. Terrible state. Oh, wow. Why yeah. did you keep... I never understand I, this, because people keep doing it. If I had stage fright like that, I just would, wouldn't do it. It was somehow a challenge. I, I agree oh. with you. I know it was just like, I, I'm going to get over this. I'm going to get over this. But okay. It took a long time. But I remember my first production in school was a, was a, a Shakespeare, Much Ado About Nothing, and I had a messenger speech, and my entrance was coming down the aisle of the theater. Yeah. And sure enough, my father came to see my first show, and sure enough, I had to stop right by his seat. And then I have to deliver a messenger speech. That's so they intimidating. They sort of told me, you know, they told me how to stand in this, and I, I went, my lord. And then I took a deep breath. You to go, somebody kill this, somebody kill this, and what? And I bowed and went out. The only thing, <laughs> what, what did he say? What did he say? I, I, I don't know. And Dad came back after the show, and he said, Michael, you were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Honest parenting? Honest parenting. So that was the start, and, and I just worked at it, grinded away, but by the time I graduated and everything, yeah. he thought I did okay. And it's so crazy to me to hear as a fan, because I can't imagine you not being good. You're in everything oh, I love. Well, like, that's you. real. Like, you're in, in over so many decades. Like, it's so, I think that's actually a good lesson for a lot of people to hear if it's a dream of theirs, but they don't feel like they're killing it yet. You can still, like, keep applying yourself. You, you can. I